It's the feud between Donald Trump and Rosie O'Donnell that has dogged Trump's campaign from the beginning. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. The decade-long fight actually started over this former Miss USA. Miss USA, such a prestigious title. Miss USA 2006 is Kentucky! In 2006, Tara Connor was the reigning Miss USA when she tested positive for cocaine. Now, Tara is speaking out only to Inside Edition about how 10 years later, her role in the Trump-O'Donnell feud has come back to haunt her. I was scared, I was nervous, I was... Uh, in a very, very dark place. After revelations of Tara's drug abuse surfaced back then, Trump scheduled a news conference. Tears streamed oh, down the beauty queen's be face given. when the sobering That's reality of her drug problems were presented for the world to see. Many thought Trump After was going to fire Tara. Her, Mispronouncing her name also I proved embarrassing. He announces to the world that Tara, Tara, Tara will be given a second chance. Tara is a good person. Tara has tried hard. Tara is going to be given a second chance. Trump surprised everyone by letting her keep her crown as long as she entered rehab. I mean, it's, it's humiliating. I felt a little bit like a puppet. Personally, I wish that we could have handled this in more of a one-on-one um, -on -one capacity without having to do it in front of everyone. Rosie O'Donnell, who was then co-hosting The View, mocked Trump and the feud was launched. And so he held a press conference to announce whether or not she was going to retain her crown. And then she started to cry. She did. Going, I just want to thank Donald just giving me a second chance. Watching the war of words for the first time in nearly a decade is still stinging for Tara. I think his response with it was heartbreaking. I think her response with it was heartbreaking. I'm being mocked. I'm being judged because I was in a beauty pageant. And I, I, my life was on the line and I almost died. Tara also bristles at the idea that Trump takes credit for giving her a second chance. I don't like when people say that Donald Trump saved my life. I figured out what I was suffering from. I started my journey to recovery. I did all of that. Today, Tara is using her past problems to help others. Sober for nine years, she now works helping people recover from drug abuse. Yet she's floored that her role in the Trump-O'Donnell feud continues to be talked about to this day. Anytime I hear anything related to that part of my life or anytime that I hear my name mentioned on any news outlet about and, and, and being attached to a, a presidential race, what? So who are you voting for? None of your business. <laughs>